the snake, you're going to get in trouble for handling the snake, but if it's not venomous, yeah. it's not a threat. Killing I the snake is, uh, is uh, illegal in it Georgia, is. a non-venomous. They do take care of a lot of, uh, you know, pests, pests around yeah. the house. They do. The, they kind do. Of the furry kind that's <laughs> crawling. They look scary. They look scary. So, hey. They take care of the pests, though. As far as looking at uh, sky conditions over Clark's Hill Lake right now, it's a beautiful day really across the area. Just a little bit warmer than I would like it. 87 degrees right now in April. That's well above average. A west wind at about 15 miles an hour. Low temperatures tonight also going to be above average, close to 60 as you're waking up for tomorrow morning. So a very mild start. You may be able to get away with no jacket as you're walking out the door tomorrow and at a minimum, a light jacket. As far as looking at the playground forecast, uh, we are going to be looking at some warm temperatures again for tomorrow in the mid 80s. So if the kids are going to be playing on those playground equipments a little bit later into the day, they definitely will have a chance to heat up. So be sure to check the temperatures of those slides, swings, etc. Uh, to make sure the kids are not burning themselves. As far as looking at the SRP Park forecast getting into tomorrow evening, we have the Green Jackets taking on the Carolina Mudcats. So first pitch is at 705. Looking at partly cloudy skies around then temperatures in the low 80s, and then we'll find those temperatures falling towards the upper 60s with partly cloudy and mild conditions continuing as that game does wrap up. We do have a nice stretch of weather here the next three days. A little bit cloudier by Wednesday, but tomorrow and Thursday, you may be able to get away with going to the pool during the hottest part of the day, especially Thursday, as we'll see temperatures near 90. And that'll actually be flirting with record highs for sure. Even tomorrow will be about three degrees off from that record high of 1896 if we do hit 87. Uh, but for Thursday, we have a real chance of tying, at least tying that record set back in 1896. So some longstanding records here, and we are going to be challenging them as we head through this week all courtesy of this big ridge in our upper level jet stream. So we'll see that kind of lock in across the eastern and southern half of the United States. You can see 90 here in Augusta by Thursday. Also Dallas feeling the heat as we do continue towards Friday and Saturday. Those temperatures still stay well above average here across the south and east as we find those temperatures in the upper 80s all the way through Saturday. By Sunday, though, we'll see a drop in those temperatures. It does look like the UV index also going up this week, except for Wednesday when those clouds could be a little bit more prominent. So Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday. You want to be limiting your time outdoors if possible, wearing sunscreen if you are going to be outside for extended periods of time. And the most intense UV rays typically happen in between about 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, during the daylight hours. As far as rainfall chances, we are going to keep those very slim for this week. You can see by Saturday, we bring back that low chance for maybe some storms, and then Sunday we'll continue that rainfall chance. But all the way through about Friday, we should stay mostly dry for this week. Maybe a stray shower possible Wednesday. As far as looking at the radar network, we're watching this cold front still far off to our west. Ahead of that, high pressure is in full control, and that's why we do have beautiful sky conditions for today. So we'll see some clouds start to build in late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Most of us still waking up mostly clear, though, for tomorrow with those temperatures near 60, possibly the upper 50s for sure. As we continue throughout your Tuesday, though, we'll see those partly cloudy skies begin to take over and looking at temperatures in the upper 80s and heading overnight into your Wednesday. Even more cloud cover begins to build in, helping those low temperatures stay in the 60s. So very mild for the start on Wednesday, and then we'll see more cloud cover continue to build in towards Wednesday afternoon, giving us a mostly cloudy day, and those temperatures could be a few degrees cooler down towards the mid 80s. But Thursday is the hottest day out of the next seven, and then by Saturday and Sunday, we are going to have to watch out for some rainfall. Thank you, Mikhail. A star witness on the